What is up, Bull Nation, and welcome to another Elden Ring video. Today, I, as you guys may already know, I showed you how to get stone 1, 2, 3, and 4 on how you can get unlimited amount of them to level up your armor and level up your gear. Today, we're going to be talking about how to go about and getting the ones that are 5 and 6. So if you guys enjoy what we're doing here on the channel, a like would be greatly appreciated. Don't forget, it helps us with the algorithm. So hit that like like your mama taught you right. In addition to that, guys, don't forget to subscribe and turn on all your notifications so you guys won't miss when our videos go live. So like I said, guys, if you want to know how to get 1 and 2, I have a video for that. If you want to know how to get 3 and 4, I also have a video on that. I'll be linking it in the annotations and also popping up right now on the screen. Today, we're going to be talking about how to get 5 and 6 because once you want to increment your weapons even further, you're going to need 5 and 6. So where exactly do you go in order to do that? Well, let me go ahead and pull up the map. So the area that I found that you're going to be able to do this, it's a little bit further out, and you're going to be probably progressed to the storyline quite a bit. Uh, you're basically going to go up the lift, and then you go up the lift until you get to the part right here. I'm going to say like 70% down of the game, you're probably going to be around this area. And you're going to go to this location called the White Ridge Road. So let me just give you guys a quick rundown after you get off the lift from the Grand Lift Road. You're going to come up here and you just take this pathway all the way across here. And that's going to loop you around all the way here to this location right here. But where you really want to get is this one right here, the White Ridge Road. Now, once you're in the White Ridge Road, which we're going to fast travel to right there, uh, let's do that right now. That is where we're going to be able to find the object or the item that we actually need to buy those stones. So let's just fast travel there to the White Ridge Road. And we're going to head to a location where we really don't have to fight enemies. All we got to do is kind of just avoid them, which is actually pretty, pretty cool. So you can just see that marker that I marked right there on the map. It is this right here. That is where you want to go to, this marker right here. So we're going to go ahead and just exit out of our map, call in Torrent. And we are going to go and, hold on, come on, Torrent. And we're going to go and ride along to the area that we need to go. But just try to avoid these ads. These ads are a little bit annoying, especially if they hit you. They're kind of like one, I wouldn't say one shot you, but they, it, it does hurt. So we're going to go this way and just avoid them as much as you can. Just hook the left wall. And there we go. We got, okay, without that guy, we have to go to the right. And I guess he didn't even see us, so that's actually pretty good. We're just going to keep going straight, and you're going to get to this church that's coming up right now. What I would suggest is you definitely want to make sure you just hit the uh, Side of Grace, which we'll be encountering right now. Because, you know, it's always good to have the Side of Grace um, activated in case you need to come back here uh, for some apparent reason. It seems like it's a church. So there might be something else that we might need to do over here uh, once we get to this part. So let's go ahead and hit that up real quick. Let's go. Yep. And yep. All right. Item discovered. Don't forget to pick up this other item that's right here. Let's go ahead and pick that up as well. A sacred tear. And now what we need to do is walk outside this particular doorway of the church. And we're going to find a dead body that's just laying down in the floor like nothing. He's just flopped. So what we're going to do is we're going to pick that up. And as you can see right here, we picked up the somber storm miner's bell bearing. Now what we need to do is we need to head back to the lost table again and go ahead and turn it in to the ladies because, you know, they like the bells, right? So we're going to take it to the we're going to take it to the lady right now and we're going to work over here. I wish it would let you kind of speed run. Well, it does let you speed run here. You know, for some reason, sometimes when I come here, it doesn't let me run. I don't know if you guys have that problem, but like, apparently let me do it now. All right, so we're going to talk to them and we're going to offer a belt bearing, offer somber miners belt bearing three. We offered it. Okay. And now we're going to go to purchase and you're going to notice that now we've unlocked five and six. So if you guys need to level up more items and you are missing five and six stones, then now is the time to go ahead and purchase them so you guys can go ahead and get those done. Of course, I will have location for seven and eight as well. So make sure you guys keep it locked on this channel so you guys won't miss our Elden Rings coverage. Thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you guys on the next video.